Hey everyone, let's take a look at number 17 in section 3.2 of Achieve. They've slightly changed this problem, I believe, from what uh, we previously had on there. So hopefully this is something close to what you have. Um, they want you to find the derivative of this function. Um, they ask you to do that by expanding or simplifying the function. And we simply, and we do want to simplify this function right now. Being in section 3.2, this is prior to learning about the product and, and the quotient rule. So we're not going to use the quotient rule on this one. That's not the directions uh, at all, but we want to simplify this first. And so how can you simplify it? Well, anytime you're dividing a, uh, in this case, polynomial of two or more terms, we have a binomial up here, right? Uh, divided by a single monomial term, I can split the fraction up. In other words, right, distributive pro property, dividing by 19 t to the one half, I can distribute that to the one and to the two times 19 t. Now it's kind of interesting that they write it as two times the quantity 19 t. Why don't they just write it as what? Two times 19, 38 t right here. Well, kind of getting you to think about simplifying here a little bit easier. So when we, you know, this part right here, we can simplify. This is just uh, written then as 1 19th times one over t to the one half. And then this one over t to the one half, in order to differentiate this part, I need to rewrite that as what? t to the negative one half power. So that's how I'm going to rewrite that. Here, I can do some simplifying, right? I can indeed cancel um, is a common factor of 19, right? So that's kind of maybe why they're thinking to write it this way. But if I divide top and bottom by 19, uh, I get two. And then what do I do with this portion here? Well, remember if I'm dividing like bases to different powers, this would be t to the one minus a half, which is t to the one half power. So I get two t to the one half power. That's what that simplifies down to. And so this now becomes 1 19th, as I said, t to the negative one half minus two t to the one half. And now we have simplified this, this function. And we can now just simply use the uh, difference rule, constant multiple rule, and of course, power rule. So now we can find the derivative. I pull out the 1 19th, which is a constant multiple. The derivative of t to the negative 1 half is negative 1 half t. Subtracting 1 from negative 1 half gives me negative 3 halves. There's the derivative for the first part, minus the 2 is a constant multiple. Bring the 1 half down. Subtract 1 from a half gives me negative 1 half. Cleaning this up then, I get a negative 1 19th times a, uh, or 1 19th times a negative 1 half gives me negative 1 38th t to the negative 3 halves. 2 times a half is 1, so I just get negative t to the negative 1 half. I think uh, Achieve will accept an answer like this with negative exponents. A lot of times I do ask to express your final derivative in terms of uh, without any uh, negative exponents. Notice the original problem didn't have any negative exponents. Could you express this without negative exponents? I expect that you can. You would rewrite t to the negative 3 halves as 1 over t to the 3 halves. t to the negative 1 half is 1 divided by t to the 1 half. You can multiply this together to get this minus 1 over t to the 1 half. So this will be an answer that sometimes I will ask for. But I think this in the box is going to be fine for what Achieve wants um, you to give. OK, so I hope this helps with uh, this one. Little uh, lesson in can you know simplify a, an expression as much as possible before taking the derivative, because there's no sense in going right into the quotient rule if I can simplify this down. And you can often do that if the denominator is a monomial, a single term. Um, it's not really a polynomial because of the one half power, but essentially a mono, monomial term, you can, you can simplify that way. Okay, hope that's good for this.